door. Will you just slip your hand up? Will you just slip and worship him right now? Will you do it? How many believe he's awesome? How many has experienced his awesomeness? Hallelujah. Father, we love you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify you. Hallelujah. 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 Can we do that chorus again? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why don't you bump about three fast and say he's mighty. 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 Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Do you love him today? Yes. Hallelujah. I want to see the Lord in prayer. I want to have him to have a special request that you leave the church you have to remember. Yes. Bob, uh, basically going up and down. So let's pray for him. He's supposed to go out and get out and go to America uh, this week. So pray for him. Let's remember, Brother Bob. Yes. My brother's going to have to have back surgery. Pray for him. Let's do that. Yes. My, my, my. Let's remember him. Yes. Uh, pray for my mom. She's got some dementia going on and it's getting a little bit worse. Let's pray for her today. Sweet lady. Yes. Uh, my grandma currently has pneumonia and she's yeah. coughing real bad. So pray for that. Person. Let's pray for her today. Yes. I got a Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I went to the doctor this week, and uh, they ran a they ran a scan, and uh, and on my heart, and um, they've been trying to decide whether or not I need to go back on cholesterol medicine and all that other stuff, and and uh, I've been needing some good news, and so 
the nurse called me one day this week. It was, I, I'm getting my days mixed up now, but anyway, she called me and she said, uh, are you Mr. Ayers? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, in an eight year period, working for this heart doctor, I have never had to call anybody and tell them what I'm getting ready to tell you. Eight years. She said, you don't have a bit of plaque. She said, your arteries look really good. You don't even have to go back on cholesterol medicine. Hey. In an eight year period, she said, working with this heart doctor, and she said, I've never had to call anybody and tell them that. So she said, you keep up the good work. So I'm trying. I'm trying. Amen. Macy's got formula to help her gain weight. I need some to help me lose weight. <laughs> I tell you, when you put it on, you'll work like the devil to get it off. Somebody say amen. I, I, I'm, I'm walking, and then, and then it, it's not agreeable with my foot, and then I'm dieting, and that gets old, and I'm just praying that the Lord will help me. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Anybody else today? Let's remember Jack. That's also David. Let's do this. Also, yeah. uh, yesterday, uh, Jack Hall was also in our yesterday. Our grandson came to him on Wednesday night, so nice son. Yes. He, uh, yes. His grandmother uh, passed away yesterday with cancer, but she went through the Lord. That's a positive thing. Amen. Yes. 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 Let's remember. Yes. 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 Anybody else? Remember Brother Dale also. He's in rehab. Brother Dale is now in rehab. Yes. 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 Let's remember him. How many have an unspoken request? Brother Ken. Yes. Y'all remember me and Brown Faith's son both coming to test and yeah. sure we're all living with the show. But I'll be praising for him. Yes. Telling me out there in, in the daytime, it gets to what now? It gets to 61 degrees, and at nighttime, it'll drop down to 70 and start snowing. Well, you keep that out there. You know, I'm, uh, I'm ready for 70 degree weather. Amen. Yeah. 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 Now, I don't know about no 80s and 90s, but 70. That's why all the here. Everybody's complaining about that, and I agree with that. Yeah. Seven fifty five. Lord, I tell you, they keep that too. Praise the Lord. Hey, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we love you tonight. Today we thank you, Lord, for all of your goodness, all of your mercy, and all of your loving kindness. And Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity. Lord, that you've afforded us to be able to be in your house to worship and magnify you. Help us to enter your gates with thanksgiving, your courts with praise, to be thankful unto you, Lord, and to bless your name. I ask you, Lord, right now, Lord, to take all of these needs, God. Lord, we've done as the Scripture has told us and brought our requests and our petitions unto you. And we've let them be made known unto you. And God, I ask you, Lord, whether it's healing, whether it's a financial need, God. Lord, whether it's good news on a stand. Lord, whether it's uh, Lord spiritual, God, whatever that it may be. God, we know that there is nothing impossible with you. For with you all things are possible. And I ask you, Lord, to meet every need in this place today. Outspoken, unspoken, you know the need. And I ask you, Lord, to do what needs to be done. Lord, only you can do it. And we believe in you. We trust you. We stand upon your word. We stand upon you, Jesus, knowing that you're going to work it out. And we just give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name. We do one more time. Slip up your hand and just praise him a minute. 
Will you just thank him for his goodness? Will you thank him for his loving kindness? Will you thank him for just being him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name, Jesus. Praise your holy name, Jesus. We magnify you. We glorify you, Jesus. We bless you in this place today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want our children to come first and give their offering unto the Lord today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Amen. Palmer, you and Brother Wood, if you will come, give you an opportunity to give. I want to say again, thank you for all that you do. You help make ministry here at this church possible. And I thank you for that. Hallelujah. Brother Wood, would you ask the blessing? Father, again, we give you praise this morning. We thank you, Lord, that your word says, let us gather together, Lord, and worship you. Lord, you said, let us come together, Lord, and
Timothy chapter number 6 I will do my utmost to let this be the last of this small series I want to tell you that um, we got to fight the good fight Amen. and I don't know about you but I'm going to be honest with you since I've been preaching this series I've been fighting. I tell you, you have to rely on God. Paul says in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12, I'm in the New King James, but that's all right. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. To which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You can be seated. I was looking over my notes and over this scripture last night again and just simply I wrote in my Bible walk it talk it right amen you see talk is cheap oh. on the game show Jeopardy how many remember that show and you still watch it yeah. There is a such thing as buying a vow. You may think that there is a certain letter in the word that you're trying to figure out, but you have to prove that there is that letter in that word. 
There are going to be times when you're going to have to prove your faith. Well, it's getting quiet already. Don't get cocky. I've watched people as they just as they just knew that that there was this and that, and they found out different. I've watched people on that show trying to solve a word or phrase and lose all their money. I was watching it the other night, and there was an individual on there, and she tried three times to guess the word. And I'm thinking, man, I've got it right here. I ought to be on the show myself. <laughs> but it kept coming right back to her. The other guy would go bankrupt. They'd roll that thing again. They'd come right back to her. She tried three times and could not get it. We will win this race in our own self and in our own methods. Hello, somebody. It takes faith in Jesus Christ and him alone. Yes. In other words, you may talk about faith and how much you have and what you have, but it's a whole other ball game to live it. Hello, somebody. I've heard people say things like, well, I go to this church, or I go to that church over there, and I go to the big church downtown, and I go to that church that's been in existence for 100 years. So what? Oh, let's get quiet. Doesn't matter what church you belong to. Doesn't matter what church role your name is on. If your name is not written on the Lamb's Book of Life, that church role won't do you a bit of good. I had um, I was talking to a guy one time, an individual one time, and said that somebody told him, and I, it made me fight mad. I couldn't believe that people are this naive. Oh, it's got real quiet now. Not this pins and needles you can hear falling in your mouth. But they said that when Jesus and the Lord is standing there, they're sitting there on judgment day, they're going to have all this stuff. They're going to have the Lamb's Book of Life. And then the other book is going to be a 1611 King James Version. Yeah. <laughs> and it hit me wrong. Do I believe this is the Word of God? Absolutely. Do I believe He's going to have a new King James or an Amplified or a 1611 King James Version with him? Absolutely not. Well, how do you figure that? 1611's it. Yeah, but Jesus is the Word. He, he doesn't need a book. He doesn't need a 1611. He don't need a 1972 version. He don't need an amplified version. Are you hearing me? Because he is the Word. Yeah. And you can stand on a lot of stuff, but if you're not standing on this word, come on. Come on. Who is the word? Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey. Amen. This is not going to cut it. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. It don't matter if you run around this book in your hand. If you don't know it, what good is that going to do? Right. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart. Can I? Let me let me explain to you what I'm trying to say. There are going to be times it's it's easy to sing about it. It's easy to talk about. It. We living by faith yeah. in Jesus above, yeah. trusting, confiding in His great love from all harm safe in His sheltering arms. But I'm living by faith hey. and feel no alarm. It's easy to sing about it, but it's a whole other ball game when you've got to live it. I'm talking about when things seem to be falling all around you. Right. People seem to be falling all around hey. you. Things seem to be going yeah. haywire. And yet you've got to stand hey. on what you know hey. to be true. Somebody say amen. I'm saying it's easy to come in church. It's easy yeah. to sing and to shout yeah. about him. But it's a whole other ball game when you face a real world. When you face a real devil, yeah. hello somebody, when there is growing tension against the believer, yeah. oh, yeah. 
There's an older song that says, I dare not today what tomorrow may bring. If shadow or sunshine or rain, I know the Lord ruleth over everything and all of my worry yeah. is vain. But can I tell you, it's one thing to sing that, but it's a whole other ball game to actually not worry about stuff. Well, I don't worry about nothing. I just put everything in the hands of the Lord. Well, that's wonderful. But not everybody's built like that. And so when you're having to live this faith, I believe you have to stand on what you know to be true. What do I know to be true? That Jesus Christ did come. That he did die on the cross. That he shed his blood. Hallelujah. That I might be saved. I do believe this word. When it says I am more than a conqueror through him that loved me. Somebody say amen. I have to stand on the word that says that my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I'm telling you there are times when you have to stand and having done all to stand. I'm trying my best to be dignified. No. But I found that doesn't work too well for me. Somebody said, why is it every time we have visitors or guests, things go haywire? I can't explain it. <laughs> but I just know this. There are times when I have to stand on what I know. Right. What I know is this, that Jesus said, I'll never leave you. I know it feels like you're in this thing by yourself, but I tell you, I have somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day, and although trouble overtakes me along my spirit road, I have somebody with me all the way. I'm thankful today that I have a Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. He is with me. He will not leave me in my situation by myself. Somebody ought to help me. I'm talking about days when I don't feel like praying. Yeah. That's right. Oh, did the preacher just say that? That's right. Go ahead. Anybody ever in here got that, got that problem too? Yes, sir. Some days you just feel like all hell's broke loose and everything's coming against you and you and, and, and you know and, and you want to pray and you can't pray and then you want to pray and you don't feel like praying and, 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 and the flesh is weak and the spirit is willing and you're back and forth and, and your mind is so bombarded. Oh, but I thought being a Christian meant that, that, that you would have no problems and, and, and that, you know, everything was hunky-dory and, and everything was, you know, pie in the sky. Oh, no. I, I thought according to some people, I better not better watch what I say. Go ahead. Go ahead and say it, bro. Go ahead. I, I, I got to watch it. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. But I, I thought according to some people, you know, that God would just give you over in abundance. And you'd have a gold faucet. And a Rolls Royce sitting out front. I'm preaching better than your shout. Go ahead. Depends on who you listen to as to what you, you know. Yeah. If you're so. Oh, I better believe. See, I. Go ahead. Come on. Right if you'll so if you'll so a thousand dollars, I'm going. You gonna talk to so. me? Anybody don't like it, they blame you. Blame me. Go ahead. <laughs> but if you'll so a thousand dollars in ten minutes, in the next ten minutes, God will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just fill in the blank. And I thought one time when I was listening, in, I thought, now what happens if I'm eleven minutes? Yeah. What happens if I'm just outside of that 10 minute span? Come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> so you're making fun. I'm absolutely not making fun. I'm just saying it's, it's amazing to me. Yes. Yes. 
There's going to be times when you will be tested. I'm talking about tested to the max. Yes. Boy. Mm. Yeah. How much faith you have. How much faith you think you have. <laughs> you see, faith grows too. It's like a muscle. Right. That's why I don't have any. I haven't used my muscles in a long time. People say, you look like a strong man. Well, as long as I look like it, I guess I'm all right. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Come on. But if everything was roses and everything was mountaintop experiences all the time, then your faith would not really grow. But it's down in the valley yeah. Yeah. of trials and temptations. Yeah. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, That's right. I will fear no evil. Yeah. For thou art with me. Yeah. Thy rod and thy staff, they yeah. comfort me. Thou preparest yeah. the table before me. Yeah. My God, hey. in the presence of my Come enemies, I hey. anoint my head with all, yeah. and my cup runs over. Surely. Surely, there are times I have to rely on that surely because I don't feel anointed. There are times I have to rely on that surely because I don't feel saved. There are times I have to rely on that surely because I done made my wife mad. <laughs> Ain't nobody else here got that problem, so don't. I'm, I'm preaching to me right now. Hello, somebody. But I don't feel it, and I'm thankful. The Bible says, for we walk by faith. That's why the, that's why the apostle says, fight the good fight of faith. Huh? Why? Because I realize I can't do this by myself. No. I cannot tell you how many times in the last little bit, the last couple of months even, that I've had to throw my hands up yeah. and just tell him, Lord, I right. cannot do this. It's got to be you. Maybe, maybe, maybe you don't have that problem. Maybe, maybe you just one of those people that. Oh, I've got faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on. My wife and I, I understand more and more why the Lord put us together because we are completely different. Mm -hmm. Hello? Come on. I, I allow a lot of things to bother me, and she don't let near as many. So one day this week, she and I was talking, and she said, I, I don't understand why you let this bother you. And we was talking about something, and she said, I, I don't understand why you let it bother you. Hasn't the Lord, and there she goes to preach it. And you know, there are times. <laughs> there have been times. I've told her, I, I don't need a sermon right now. <laughs> I've got however many in my office. I don't need, I, I don't need a sermon. But she'll remind me, but hasn't the Lord? And she begins to, to fill in the blank. And then when the Lord brings us through it, I said, I feel stupid. I thought, I don't understand why I let that thing bother me so bad. But you know, it, it's easy again to talk about it, but when you're facing it. Yes. For the God on the mountain. It's still God in the valley. Hello. When things go wrong. Yeah, they go right. How many have ever had them go wrong? Yes. How many have ever had things to go wrong? It's just like, let me give an instance yesterday. If, you, if you've not ever had your faith to be tried, I, let, let me just say this week has been one more week. Uh -huh. Trying to refinance my house, get me a lower payment, and all this stuff since gas. They're not doing nothing about gas. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to keep it. Come on, my glory work. And so we're we're cleaning, spiffing up, filling my building full. <laughs> 
trying to move this, move that. We don't know what they're looking for. Everything's got to be spotless. Hello. I need to hire a maid to help me with this stuff. So he gets there. Two hours before he gets there, the power goes out. I ain't believing this junk. This hillbilly redneck mess over here. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Only in Stokes County does two hours before the appraiser get here that the power goes out. Right? Only in Stokes It only happens in Stokes County. If I was in California, I might have to worry about a fire, but here I've got to worry about the power. You follow what I'm saying? got paint on us and all kinds of fun. Now, how are we going to do this? Or this is a fine kettle of fish. What are we going to do? Done pile my building full of stuff. Papa let me borrow one of his ladders. I got that thing put in the building. I mean, the whole nine yards, you know. And man gets there. And power comes on 30 minutes before. The man gets there, and, and he gets there, and the next thing you know, he's looking around my building. <laughs> I thought you heard uh, praise the house, <laughs> not the building. I said, Bev, I want you to look at this. I'm looking out the window. So I finally I said, I'm just going to bite the bull. I go outside. I said, you don't look inside that building? <laughs> <laughs> Only in Stokes County. I'm, I'm just telling you. <laughs> no, I really don't, but the bank does. I said, really? Well, just take a picture. I might as well just get in there and say cheese while I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hold the door long enough for him to snap a picture. I shut the thing back and lock it. He and I get to talk. And this whole week, I've let this, I've just let all this kind of get on me. And so while he's there, we begin to talk. Come to find out he's a believer. We get to talking about church and the Bible and all this other things. He said a few things before he left that gave me reassurance that everything's going to be all right. Uh -huh. I'm talking about a total stranger. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But what did he say your house? He didn't say anything like that. It was just some things he said that lined up and kind of give me a piece about what's going on. I'm talking about a faith that is not. It's not based on feelings. I'm talking about a faith that's not based on what you can see. It's not based on human capabilities. It's not based upon any ability of your own. It's based on confidence and trust in Jesus and what he is and who he is and what he's accomplished. Somebody say, I got to hurry, but if, you know, Hebrews 11 gives us a wonderful example. He says, now, faith is the substance of things hopeful. That's for. right. you got to fight this good fight of faith. I'm telling you, sometimes it's, it's, it's hard just to keep the faith, but you've got to just trust in what God has already done in you. Trust that the same God that saved you is the same God that called you, is the same God that's going to bring you through. Somebody say amen. That's right. And the evidence of things not seen, but without faith, it is impossible, impossible. to please right. God. And Hebrews 11 gives us a picture of faith yes. and what it does along with what it looks like. Yes. By faith, Moses. Yes. By faith, Rahab. Uh -huh. By faith, Joshua. That's Are right. you getting it? Yeah. By faith, David. By faith, yeah. this one. Yeah. By faith, Elijah. By faith, yeah. and the whole chapter of Hebrews gives us by what faith looks like and what it looked like for the people of God in the Old Testament. We can see in the New Testament what faith looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It 
didn't look like what you would picture it to look like. Faith is not sitting in a nice church building that's worth $2.5 million. <laughs> Met with a builder just this last week and a half. I said, here's what I want. Nothing fancy. He says, oh. He says, you're looking at 2.5 to 3.5 million dollars to rebuild. Can you say that again? <laughs> Nothing fancy. I'm not talking about a cathedral that's got a big pipe organ in it. I'm talking about a metal building. $2.5 million. Might need to get us some tree stumps. <laughs> uh, but you know, even, he goes on to say this, and I'm going somewhere. He says, you got to lay hold on eternal life. Amen. Hey, mm. All because you got, <laughs> Lord help me. It's like a ball team when they go out to face an opponent. And I feel like a lot of times what ends up happening in some of these teams is they feel like, oh, because they're, they, they've got the name on their jersey, that that's an automatic W. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Go ahead. But all because you just got a name on there, doesn't mean you're going to go out and step on the floor and automatically win that ball game. You know? right. Hello. you got to get out there and work. Yeah, right. Rebound. Mm -hmm. Shoot good percentage shots. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Play defense. Yeah. Play good offense. Yes. There are factors that play into whether or not you win that game. Folks, we got to win this thing. Right. Yeah. Doesn't matter who falls by the wayside, we can try to help them, but we've got to win this thing. Right. Yeah. Right. He says, and have confessed the good confession. In today's world, the best advertisement is still word of mouth. Can, can you believe that? Right. In a world of endless opportunities for advertising, person to person, is still the best way to advertise. Can I tell you that I believe the same is true about your confession? Tell what God has done. Yes. Tell what God is doing in your life. Too many Christians want to be silent. They say, well, that's for the church. Absolutely not. We come here to gain encouragement, to be sharpened, you know, the iron sharpens iron. We come to worship God as a collective body. But we also, when we leave here, it is our job to tell others yes. about what God is doing yes. in our life. Yes. yes. It helps to build others. It helps to build their faith. Yeah. You can't argue with evidence. All I know, I'm not the smartest uh, whip on the stick. I'm not the smartest uh, intelligent person that there is. But I do know this. When I look back across my life, uh, even though I hadn't made a lot of money, even though I haven't had this and that and the other, here's one thing I do know. Uh, is that when I begin to look, uh, I see God here. I see God here. I see God here. I see God here. I see God brought me through that. I see God's bringing me through that. And I see his goodness. Yeah. I see what God, I see the evidence. There's a song that says, I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life. Yeah. Yeah. All over my life. There were times I didn't know what, which way to go. There were days I didn't know what to do. There were many times I didn't know how I was coming out. But one thing I am assured of uh, that this book right here tells me uh, is that he will never leave me. Hey. Hey. Nor forsake me. Uh, but he'll go with me all the way to the end. Amen. Amen. 
but we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Faith will deliver blows to the devil. Faith is resolve. I don't have to argue about it. I don't have to argue which Bible is correct, if it's the New King James or the Amplified or the NASB or the 1611. I will just throw this in. Even the 1611 is not the original. Well, it got real quiet then. Well, I think the King James 1611 is the only one. That's, that's wonderful. I'm not going to sit and argue with you. All I know is who God is. What he's done in my life. What he's doing in my life. I have a beautiful picture in this word that says he knows the plans for me. Plans to give me a hope. Plans to give me a future. Here's what I know. If he brought me through that, he's going to bring me through this. If he brought me through that period of my life, he's going to bring me through my, this period in my life. And the same God that saved me and has looked after me almost 30 years hey. is the same God that's yeah. going to walk with me. And we're going to finish this race together. Somebody ought to praise him. Amen. Fight the good fight. Part of my issue is a lot of times I try to figure things out. I think as men, that's what we do. Yeah. We want to figure it out. We want to have the answer. Now, I don't know about any of the other women in here. My wife is, is, is the opposite. She just trusts the Lord. That he's going to give us the direction and the, and the answer and this, that. And I said, yeah, but what about? Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. And you know, we do that same thing in our individual life. Yes, but. Mm -hmm. See, we're always putting that three-letter word in that sentence. Mm -hmm. It's not our job to figure some things out. Now, God will give us wisdom. Hello. He'll give us He'll give us knowledge. Knowledge, when we work it out, is through wisdom. It's wisdom when we work things out through knowledge. But he'll give us that. There are going to be some things he's just going to give us what to do. He's not going to do it for us. Right. Ah, uh, help me somebody. It's not our job to figure it out. You see, that's where frustration, that's where hurt, that's where disappointment, that's where discouragement and the list goes on, begins to settle in, is when we try to figure it out. It's time we tell the devil, devil, I've come too far to look back. My feet have walked through the valley. I've climbed mountains, crossed rivers, desert places, I've known, but I'm nearing the home shore. Yeah. The redeemed are rejoicing. Right. Heaven's angels are singing. I've come too far to look back. I'm, not, I'm going to stand on. I'm going to stand in what I know to be true. This is what I know. God's word is true. He said, let God be true and every man a liar. Hello, somebody. I'm going to believe this book. The word of God, he says, will stand forever. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will never pass away. So in this final round of fight the good fight, I want to encourage you today, stand on what you no. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know there's a lot of things coming against, you know, Christianity and believing in Jesus. And they say that that's, uh, you know, that's inclusive, that if you believe in Jesus, that that's inclusive because you exclude all other religions and all other things. But the last time I checked in his word, he said he was the only way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He said, I, no man comes to the Father no. but... 
But, 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 but by me. Isn't that what he said? Oh, but you're being inclusive. You, you know, you, you just. But I'm going to stand on what I know. Here's the deal. In some places around the world, they don't even have one of these. Mm -hmm. Hello? They don't even have one of these. They have to sneak them in. Or they have to memorize. That's why, I, you know, I, David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. But I want to tell you, it may come to a point where you have to know this book, memorize this book, because you may not have That's right. That's good. this book. That's right. I'm going by what I know. Before, before they begin to play, you know, it's amazing to me um, when the tough gets, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Sometimes you have to flex your faith muscles. It's not always easy. But the more you use it, the more it increases. Right? I want Ashland to play just a small clip of a church in Ukraine. Now, if everybody knows, we tried to do this two weeks ago. It didn't work. But Ukraine and all of what they're going through, bombs, people trying to invade their territory, and you think it stops them? Hello? It doesn't stop them. They still praise God. They still go to church. And I want her to play that. If you got it, go ahead and play that. I want you just to watch this just a moment. It's a church in Ukraine with everything going on, yet they're, they're worshiping God together. They're fighting the good fight of faith. I want us to just lift our hands right now. And I want us to take some time and I want us to worship the Lord. Can we do that? Will you just lift your hands right now? Will you just bless the Lord right now?
God, I speak blessings upon them right now. I pray for strength, God. I pray for encouragement, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will lift them up above the shadows, Lord. Lord, you said that you would make our feet like Hannah's feet and that you would set us upon high places. Lord, I pray to encourage them, God. Lord, I pray, Lord, for these that are discouraged today, Lord, that you'll break discouragement. Just a moment. Hallelujah. 